The most beautiful humanoid robot is Erika, created by Japanese engineer Hiroshi Ashiguro. Erika can listen to people, answer simple questions, and communicate on a number of distracted topics, read the emotions of the interlocutor, and change his own facial expression in response. But the most amazing feature of the robot is its most realistic appearance. Erika has already played a few roles in Japanese productions and has tried her hand as a news anchor. Recently, it became known that the robot will play a major role in a sci-fi movie. According to the plot of the picture, a scientist who has been working on improving human DNA decided that the project would be dangerous for humans and decided to escape from a secret laboratory with Erika. In fact, the robot can't even move her arms, but her facial expressions are incredibly realistic and pleasing. Robot Sophia, the most famous humanoid robot in the world. Debuting in 2016, Sophia was positioned as the ultimate robot with artificial intelligence. This generated enormous interest around the world and allowed Sophia to travel, gain citizenship in the Arab Emirates, become a UN ambassador, and most importantly, popularize robotics. Later, of course, the developers of the robot from Hansen Robotics admitted that Sophia was just a dream of perfect artificial intelligence. The company's website today states that Sophia combines advanced work in symbolic AI, neural networks, expert systems, machine perception, spoken natural language processing, and adaptive motor control. The robot also uses advanced machine perception, which allows Sophia to recognize faces, emotions, and hand gestures. The robot is able to control its own hands and gaze by adjusting to the conversation, as well as autonomously moving around avoiding obstacles. Today there are 20 Sophia robots. Six of them regularly appear at conferences around the world. They make presentations and are a visual demonstration of advances in robotics. The creepiest humanoid robot in history is probably the Telenoid Telepresence robot. Its universal design implies that the robot can resemble anyone, regardless of gender or age. You can connect to it via a network, and it will transmit your voice, facial expressions, and head movements. Created in Japan by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, the robot is 80 centimeters tall and weighs 5 kilograms or 11 pounds, and should be a companion for lonely, elderly people. The stated price of the consumer version of the robot is $8,000. I wonder what the ass is for this alien-shaped cell phone. Would you like to hug it in person? Write your opinion in the comments. The creators called the Emeka robot the face of robotics of the future. The key idea of the project by the British company Engineered Arts was to create a perfect humanoid body, which will eventually be complemented by a perfect humanoid artificial intelligence. The robot's body is a modular platform that came from another company project called Mesmer. Each Mesmer robot was designed and built based on 3D scans of real people, which allow the developers to accurately mimic human bone structure, skin texture, and try to reproduce facial expressions. Engineered arts engineers, as often happens with attempts to create perfect robots, had to develop most of the components from scratch. So to control the movements of the robot's head and upper body, they made powerful but silent motors with hot torque. Each motor can be controlled independently and more over the main parts, namely motors, cameras, depth sensors, LED R and microphones, can be connected for control via the internet. However, Mesmer robots had one problem. The presence of 22 actuators on the face, only three of which were connected to the mouth, did not allow the robot to reliably reproduce speech. It looked as if the robot had just visited the dentist where it received an excessive dose of Novocaine. Emeka took the best from Mesmer in terms of design and sensors. The developers have not reported, but it is obvious that the number of actuators on the face has been increased as the robot's facial expressions have become much livelier. In terms of design, the engineers also took a different path. They developed a universal appearance for the robot, without gender, age, or pretensions to copy human skin. And yet the robot still became the most realistic of all humanoid robots. The design of the robot is fully modular. You can buy it as a whole or just the head. Or buy the head first and then buy the arms. Or you can buy another head and easily replace it on the robot without special tools. But besides looks, the robot needs intelligence. A mecha needs to sort data from sensors, motors, network traffic, code, video streams, microphone inputs, physical conditions, and react to them in time. This is a complex process that is controlled by the company's own software. The software allows the robot to be programmed and controlled from anywhere in the world. What's more, 
It is designed for non-professionals and is intuitive. The software also works like the 3D software used to control computer graphics or game characters, providing smooth and realistic movement. When the company presented the robot, viewers were incredibly impressed that the robot communicated with them, kept up a conversation, and even made jokes. But whether this was the result of the robot's embedded algorithms or whether it was controlled remotely by an operator in telepresence mode, the engineers didn't tell us. The second option seems most likely to us, since Ameca is positioned as a platform for research and in-house development in artificial intelligence for third-party companies. Russian startup Promobot also introduced its version of ultra-realistic robots. The RoboXC model is custom-made and can look anything you want. The robot recognizes speech and itself has a base of over 100,000 speech modules. The functionality of the robot is essentially the same as that of the usual Promobot. Answering questions, informing, accepting payments. The robot can also be a home companion, work as a voice speaker, and control other smart devices. The company recently said it already has more than a dozen orders for the robot from companies and private customers. RoboC cannot walk, but has 17 moving parts on its face, giving it 36 degrees of freedom. The company claims that the robot has 600 facial micro-expressions. That's more than any other humanoid robot on the market. It also has 3 degrees of freedom in the neck and torso, which gives it limited movement. The robot is priced between $20,000 and $50,000 depending on options and individual appearance. Recently, one of the Robo-C is created, began taking people to work on its own. And the second robot, a little earlier, got into a scandal when Arnold Schwarzenegger sued Promobot for using his appearance without a license. Such robots only remotely resemble a living person. But scientists around the world are constantly working on components that can increase the realism and functionality of such robots. We'd like to mention Disney's animatronic robots separately. The moving and talking figures in the company's parks are created on the basis of a single robotic base A1000, which is constantly evolving to achieve more and more realistic movements. But not all figures are created based on the A1000. So just recently, engineers created a new base. Groot is a real interactive humanoid robot, about 75 centimeters tall, which is almost fully autonomous. And the tether you see in the video is used for control, not power. The robot can run for 45 minutes, and its design gives it an incredible 50 degrees of freedom. The robotic platform required developers to create custom high-speed actuators with the necessary torque density to allow the robot to make both fast and slow smooth movements. The creators were also able to integrate onboard computing to support the robot's interactive behavior. The developers planned that by refining the robot, they will be able to let it roam around Disney Park and interact with visitors completely on its own. The mass production of robots in Korea blew up the internet. The assembly line with realistic humanoids was launched by the Korean company M Service Clock, and the robots themselves are intended for animatronic installation in the store of the local designer, Glasses Brand General Monster, where they will simulate a robotic assembly line. All parts of the robots were printed on a 3D printer using large format SLA technology with extremely realistic surface finishes. Adurethane coating was also applied to ensure the durability of the photopolymer parts. The company used very high-resolution texture to reproduce even the skin pores on each humanoid's face, and extensive post-processing was required to get perfectly realistic skin color. Unfortunately, despite their ultra-realistic appearance, the robots are still only objects of art and are completely non-functional. However, for attracting the world's attention to robotics, they got a special place in our selection. In 2019, researchers at the Technical University of Munich unveiled an artificial skin composed of hexagonal silicone cells capable of detecting contact, acceleration, proximity, and temperature. With its help, robots will be able to gain an analogy of senses and better interact with people and objects. Write in the comments which of the robots you like the most. Don't forget to press on the like button and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.